Okay guys, welcome back to the continuation of the video. That's where you take the tram again. That's the shuttle bus. Queens on that side. And Manhattan on this side. So as promised, I'm gonna walk to the north side of the island. So, I feel like there's something in my shoes for some reason, don't know why. I feel like there's something in my shoes. My shoes is pretty big. I heard it's size 12, 11 and 12. So, yeah, I think I need to take my shoes off and then put it back on because I'm feeling like there's something inside my shoes. And it would be uncomfortable. Okay, it's better. I move my toes around and I don't know. So yeah, I could walk on the edge there, but wouldn't be safe when there's cars and you know there's no walkway. I'm guessing for the down there's a walkway, but this is the safest way to do it. Yeah, this is a busy river indeed. There's another, I don't know, what do you call these things? Pantoon, trawlers, one of those. That carry um, other boats and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody um, please educate me in there. So there is a bus that comes over here as well. And um, I think there's a train that comes to Roosevelt Island. Yes, coming from Queens, I think you could take the F train. Um, is it the F train? Or the Q? The F train, I think. There is. There is a train stop for Roosevelt Island. Yeah, I need to check on that. It, it is. And me seeing this green pole with the light reminds me of it. There is a... Yeah, Roosevelt Island subway station. There we go. But I know there's a train comes over here. And a bus. And there we go again, the free shuttle bus. I need to buy a water, I don't have a cash, I just have credit cards and these places don't take um, credit cards. Let me ask how much is the water? How much is the water? I only have one dollar change. I'll have to find a place where I can use my card. Oh look, there's a granary. Definitely get my water in there. I have no cash so I'm gonna stop for water guys and then oh there's pizza over there as well I'm not gonna do that though. so yeah I'm trying to find the entrance for this place uh, did I pass the entrance that way oh please use main entrance which is this way that was it right there Okay, everything looks dark because I'm wearing my shirt. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Fiji water, very expensive. Where's the regular water at man? Our water is this expensive. I don't have a choice, I just have to grab one. But I need the regular water. I'm guessing there's no regular water, so I'm 
just gonna grab the Aquafina. Oh, it's spring water. Water is water. Oh, wait a minute. The regular water is up there. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's alright. I'll grab this one. This would pull me down to continue the store for you guys. So, I'm gonna go pay now and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we'll continue the video. Just get my water. I paid $1.78. And I just quenched my thirst because I was parched. Roosevelt Island subway train station. Maybe I'll take that, but that'll take me to Creams. Oh, wait, I think there's a way I could, um, I could transfer to the E train, I believe. So I don't have to take the tram going back. Should I? No, I promise to show the other side. So, yeah. Walking north. So these are apartments, about 11, 12, 13,000 people live on this island. There's a Starbucks right there, actually. Oh, is there walking over there? Pretty on this side. Yeah, this is a walk park. Is it? Yeah, walk until it says don't walk, right? Really nice spot. I'll probably take a picture when I'm coming back. I'll take a picture right here. It's a nice spot right here. So I'll take a picture showing that side and this side. Guys fishing over there. I don't know how to fish, um, but I did it back in the Caribbean years and years ago, but not that kind of fishing. It's like a different kind of fishing. I did it in Antigua and um, yeah. This is just a nice place to relax when it's cool. Famous FDR. Yeah, always traffic congestion over there, always can't move and stuff. The traffic is actually moving, but hmm. during the week, work days, huh, man, I don't want to be on that FDR. Like I be, I mentioned this in my last video that I would leave Brooklyn when I was working in Brooklyn. I leave like at two o'clock. I should be home like, let's say like three o'clock, should be less, you know, and on a work day, I leave Brooklyn at two, I get home at six, which is ridiculous. You just, like, you can't move, like, sometimes you divert, like, get off the highway and go into the city and it's worse. But that was like before um, uh, the whole COVID thing started, so. Because after COVID, you know, started a lot of people work from home and, and all of that so the traffic wouldn't be that bad it's another one of those things that pushing the pantoon what's the name of those things um i know it you know i know it
just not in my head right now. So I'm like on the lower part of this walkway. It's like the road, the actual road, and this is the walkway which is down. And the water. Isn't these are all apartments? I'm wondering how much these people pay to live out here on this island. Because New York is like so pricey, you know? So I have a lot of friends that live like, you know, this part of the city. And their rent could be like 4,000, 5,000 and stuff. You know, people would go uptown in Harlem and so on and, you know, get apartment cheaper, like, you know, like from, I'm guessing 1,700 to 2,500. It depends, right? So I don't think you find those prices now actually because where I'm living like a studio now starts at 2300 2300 repeat that again 2300 for a studio starting right so a lot of people would move from Dong and Midtown and go uptown so you know it becomes cheaper but as people from this side move and go up here then it the prices goes up as well and that's where gentrification comes in right it's a nice building there I don't know what kind of building it is but it's like a box like it's like those that cubicle game. It's cool. It's a nice building. If you guys can see it, but I'm walking, so the camera's probably shaking. There it goes. It's like those um, Lego building. Like I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, rent could be. Um, pretty expensive in New York City the Bronx even the Bronx is like expensive as well but um, I live in the Bronx from I live one year in the Bronx from 2000 from 2006 to 2007 I think I live in the Bronx and um, so I moved from the Bronx and where I was living in the Bronx wasn't the best area. Um, so while living in the Bronx at that time, I had a job here. So I was working with this company and one day, so, okay, I'll tell you guys this, how, um, before I tell you guys what happened, I should kind of um, reverse a little bit, right? So. Where I was living in the Bronx is called um, Simpson Street area, somewhere around there. And so I was living in that building and I was on the fifth floor. And there's like a seven story building, I think it was. So I had neighbors, you know, over me. And so some days when I come home, you know, the kids be like, you know, hitting the floor, bouncing basketball, basketball and stuff, and making noise. So one day I decided to go upstairs and, you know, I knock on the door and I spoke to the